Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Lilium circles the drain again as funding woes persist. Yet another electric plane startup closes up shop. And Supernal SA2 EVTOL seen ground testing. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Lilium circles the drain again as funding woes persist. Lilium, a once promising air taxi developer, is again teetering on the edge of insolvency as it waits for a $200 million Christmas Eve rescue deal to come through. Meanwhile, employees remain unpaid, operations are on hold, and management is now openly considering filing for insolvency. Lilium confirmed its first insolvency in October 2024 after failing to secure a bank loan to continue operations. However, a group of investors saved the day with more than $200 million on Christmas Eve. The company and its staff had some temporary relief before realizing that the paycheck never came through. The crisis primarily stems from the company's lead investor, Innobot founder Marion Bocek, who was supposed to contribute 75% of the total rescue package. While Bocek insists that funds have started to transfer and the rescue is in full swing, Lilium's reality and its employees' bank accounts suggest otherwise. With no clear timeline for the rest of the funding, Lilium's leadership reportedly informed staff in an online meeting that a second insolvency filing is likely unless something changes fast. The uncertainty has already shattered Lilium's reputation with not only the industry, but also the company's own workforce. After the break, Go Aero announces 11 Stage 1 winners. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Go Aero announces 11 Stage 1 winners. The Go Aero Prize, a $2 million international competition to create emergency response flyers, announced 11 Stage 1 winners and an additional 14 U.S. based university teams that will receive Go Aero awards with NASA support to take their prototype vehicles through to the final fly off. The competition currently includes 198 teams from 85 countries worldwide. It's designed to stimulate innovation for aircraft equipped with cutting-edge technology to conduct rescue and response missions in the aftermath of natural disasters, respond to medical emergencies, and other humanitarian crises. SkyDrive eVTOL receives G1 certification basis. SkyDrive has been issued G1 certification basis for its 3C eVTOL aircraft from the Japan Civil Aviation Bureau, representing an agreement regarding the specific airworthiness and performance criteria required in the company's path to type certification. This agreement is founded on a 2022 agreement between JCAB and SkyDrive to use the JCAB Airworthiness Inspection Manual Part 2 as the basis for type certification. It defines the criteria for fixed-wing aircraft carrying up to 18 passengers with a takeoff weight of 19,000 pounds or less. UAE mapping out sky streets for air taxis and drones. The United Arab Emirates, known for its skyscrapers, artificial islands, and indoor ski slopes, is now turning its attention to the sky by mapping out air corridors for flying taxis and drones. The nation's General Civil Aviation Authority hopes to complete the project within 20 months. This effort is being carried out in collaboration with the Technology Innovation Institute and Aspire, both based in Abu Dhabi. If all goes to plan, air taxis could be ferrying passengers by 2026. Man laser strikes a police chopper among New Jersey drone panic. 
Amid the chaos that overtook New Jersey late last year, a cold snack man decided to shine a laser beam at what he believed was one of the unidentified drones. His luck quickly turned when the police came knocking, informing him that the drone he struck was actually a federal law enforcement helicopter, maneuvering at 2,500 feet. Its pilots noticed a green light beaming in the cockpit and executed a turn to locate the source before being struck a second time. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to you, the rest of the news. Yet another electric plane startup closes up shop. A seemingly promising electric aircraft startup, Eviation, has been overcome by financial struggles and is pausing operations indefinitely. In its 10 years of business, the company managed to develop and fly a zero-emissions airplane. Eviation was founded in Israel back in 2015 before moving most of its operations to Arlington, Washington. There it finalized the development of its fully electric Alice aircraft and sent it up for its maiden flight on September 27, 2022 in Moses Lake. Alice was designed to reduce emissions and operating costs for regional air travel, including commuter and cargo markets. Cape Air, Global Crossing Airlines and DHL Express had all confirmed orders totaling 137 planes by its first flight. While the first flight was able to validate aviation's zero emissions design, things quickly began to take a downturn for the startup. The company gradually shrunk from 120 employees in 2022 to 70 last year. In early 2025, Aviation was holding on to just 30 workers. Unfortunately, securing long-term funding and investors is not an easy task for most sustainable startups, especially those that lack a direct tie to commercial applications. Aviation became the latest victim of this play in early February, forcing it to indefinitely pause operations. After these messages, Supernal SA2 eVTOL seen ground testing. For over 30 years, the massive sport plane resource guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all new digital sport plane resource guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Supernal SA2 eVTOL C and ground testing. Supernal, a subsidiary of automaker Hyundai, was seen performing ground testing of its full-scale demonstrator aircraft SA2 eVTOL at California's Mojave Air and Space Port. Images captured by a photographer show the aircraft secured to the ground. The eVTOL represents an important step in the company's efforts to develop next-gen AAM solutions. Supernal is part of Hyundai's push into the AAM sector, and the goal is to launch commercial services by the end of the decade. The latest testing phase suggests development is progressing towards real-world development, as the company faces competition from several players that appear to be in more advanced stages of development. Jaiwan Shin, CEO of Supernal and president of Hyundai Group, said last summer the demonstrator will inform Supernal's prototype vehicle by, quote, helping to mature and validate vehicle systems, optimize supply chain processes, and solidify internal testing protocols, end quote. The SA-2 eVTOL also made its debut in Europe at the Farnborough International Air Show, and the aircraft currently being developed is projected to be flying in 2026. Supernal will then go after type certification as well as educating the public to improve confidence. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.